Welcome to Mackey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, a pentagonal pyramid, 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base, which is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degrees. So here we can understand that the type of the solid given to us is a pentagonal pyramid and each edge of the pentagon measures 25 mm while the axis measures 60 mm in length and next is the resting condition. It is resting on one of its edges of the base and this edge is also inclined to VP at 30 degrees while the axis of the pyramid is inclined to the HP at 40 degrees. So we can understand here in the final projection, we are going to consider a parameter that is the edge, which has not changed its dimension in the second position. So it is a non-beta angle problem. Now let us see how to draft the solution for this problem statement. So let us begin by constructing the XY line. So let us select a line of thickness 0.18 mm, draw a line of any arbitrary length and let us annotate the line as X and Y. and also the reference planes as VP and HP. And next we have got to construct the top view of the pentagonal pyramid. So we are going to construct the top view by selecting a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and also the resting condition is it is resting on one of its edges of the base. So first we shall construct the pentagon and then align this as per the requirement. So 25 mm is the base length and the next edge is 25 and the angle is 72 followed by 25 72 into 2 next is the edge length 25 angle is 72 into 3 followed by 25 and the angle is either minus 72 or 72 into 4 so with this we complete the construction of the pentagon so now we shall select this pentagon and rotate it in such a way that one of its edges being parallel to the HP. So for that, let us select the midpoint option in the IntelliSketch. sketch, click OK and go for the rotate option, ensure the copy is off. So from the first corner point to the midpoint of the opposite edge, rotate until you get to see this as being parallel to the XY line. So this is the condition in which the edge is being parallel to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. Now we'll just move this. So we have got the pentagon, which is resting on one of its edges of the base on the HP. Now we need to construct the diagonals of the pentagon and show the triangular faces. So for that, what we can do is let us select the line option first and then go for the 50 mm thickness, 0 0.50 mm thickness. So from the opposite corner, join it to the midpoint of the opposite edge. Similarly, from this corner, let us join this to the midpoint of the opposite edge. From this corner, join this to the midpoint of the opposite edge. So now we have got the five phases. So now let us just try to construct uh, the remaining uh, line so that we get the triangular faces from each of the corners. So just do this. So from each of the corner, join the line to the midpoint of the opposite edge. Now using the trim option, trim the lines. And then you get the top view of the pentagon pyramid. So you need to have the edges running from each of the corners. So you have got totally five edges and this resembles the top view of the pentagonal pyramid. Now let us annotate this. So we'll assume that it is resting on the edge AB followed by C, corner D and corner E. And also we shall annotate the apex of the pyramid to be O and the center point of the base of the pyramid to be O1. So with this we complete the construction of the top view of the pyramid. So now we shall draw the projection lines and get the front view of the pyramid so for that let us select a line of thickness 0.13 so from each of the corners draw the projection line and intersect that with the xy line similarly even from the axis now 
now let us select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so from the end point of each of these projection lines try to complete the base of the pyramid first so to avoid the confusions let us keep the midpoint off so now let us construct the axis of the pyramid so for that select the center line of thickness 0.13 so the axis will originate from here and the length of the axis is 60 mm so now from the apex point let us try to draw the slant edges to each of the end projectors so select again 0 0.50 mm thickness line so from this end point join this line to the end point of the axis line similarly from the end point of this join here and from the end point of this projection join to the apex so this is the front view of the pentagonal pyramid with one of its edges resting on hp so now as per the problem statement this axis is inclined to the hp at an angle of 40 degrees so before we go for the second position let us annotate this so this is the apex o dash while this is the center point of the base of the pyramid which is o1 dash and here for the observer when he is looking in this direction so for him the corner b is visible first while the corner a is hidden so it is inside the bracket and similarly here it is c dash and inside the bracket it is e dash and here it is d dash so this completes the annotation of the pyramid front view so now we are going for the second position which tells that the axis is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to the hp so for that construction what we can do is select this front view of the pyramid along with the annotations and now let us just try to move this so i'll keep the point of reference as p dash a dash ensure the copy is on and i'll move this towards the right hand side of the xy line now let us tilt the base of the pyramid in such a way that the axis will be inclined at the given angle so the angle of inclination here is 90 minus the inclination of the axis which is 40 degrees so we are going to incline the pyramid so now you can just check it out the axis will be inclined at an angle of 40 degrees as per the given problem statement so you can just use the extend to next and extend the axis so now let us try to complete the front or uh, the top view of the pyramid when the axis is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees so for that select a line of thickness 0.13 and draw the vertical projections so from ba so from this point o1 from this corner c and e and also d so always we have to remember one key point in the pyramid the apex point is never considered as the farthest point for the observer so a is here and corner b will lie somewhere here and corner e is on the vertical projection from e and corner c is also from the vertical projection from e so d shall intersect this line first here and then the axis point of the bottom face of the pyramid and finally the apex point so these are the construction lines so now let us just trim the lines which is not required for us so this is again o1 so this is also not required for us and d is here so even this is not required okay so i guess we have completed with all the required points now let us complete the top view so select okay so now we can understand that for the observer the farthest corner points are b and a so from that point all the lines shall be hidden so i'll select this edge and make it a hidden line so this is a dotted line now and similarly the edges from this b dash and a dash will also be hidden so now so this completes the top view of the pyramid use the trim option and trim the projection lines beneath the hidden lines now we will annotate the pyramid top view so this is the apex o while this is the corner a and this is the corner 
B. So from corner A and corner B, we have shown the hidden lines of the pyramid. And similarly, this will also be the hidden line that is A to E and uh, B to C will also be hidden. Let us annotate the remaining corners. So this is the corner E, this is the corner D and this is the corner C. So these are the corners A, B, C, D, E and this is the access point which is O1. So with this we complete the top view of the pentagonal pyramid while its axis is inclined to the HP at an angle of 40 degrees. So now he tells that with respect to the VP the resting edge that is AB is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So for this what we can do is we can just take a line of thickness 0.13 and take offset from the XY line and from any arbitrary point let us draw a line which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical plane. On this 30 degree line we have to place this pyramid. So for that let us select this top view of the pyramid. So ensure the pyramid is made rigid set. So I've selected all the edges. Now let me select the annotations. So now let me select the move option ensure the copy is on and then from point A or the corner A let me place this corner A on the 30 degree line use the rotate option to rotate the corner A and B to lie on the 30 degree line like this. So this is the inclination of the pyramid edge on which it is resting aligned at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the VP. So this is 30 degrees. So now let us draw the projection lines from each of the points to get the front view of the pyramid. So from here let me draw the horizontal projections. So B and A will be on the XY line. So here this is the point O1. So let us draw the projection line. Similarly from corner C and D draw the horizontal projection. From corner D draw the horizontal projection. So now the apex will lie here and then A is on the XY line, B is also on the XY line. Similarly from corner D, ninety degrees and then from corner E which is here intersect this line and similarly from corner C try to intersect the horizontal projection from the corner C and also from the point O so it was not made a continuous line so we are not getting the point O1 here so in this case what we can do is use the distance to option so measure the distance between D and O which is equal to 13.67 so similarly here what I can do is I will take a line option of thickness 0 0.50 so from D I'll be drawing a line of 13.67 mm and just stop it here so that I'll get the point O1 so from here I can draw the projection so from O1 intersect the horizontal projection of O1 so use the trim option so trim the projection lines which is not required to us okay so with this uh, we have completed all the points so now let us complete the front view so go for the line option select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so here is the point a and point b is here and then c d corner e and e to a So from each of these projections, that is the corner points, draw the triangular faces. So 
So now if you just observe here, the corner A is the farthest point for the uh, observer. So we can just draw the hidden line. So first let us understand that the base of the pyramid is visible first. So all the other inner edges will be the hidden lines. Let us annotate this. So this is the apex O dash. And then this is the corner A dash. This is the corner B dash. Okay, so you can just see that uh, the point B dash is here. Okay, so the point B dash is here. So there will be some confusions between B and C because they'll almost be nearer. So use the zoom options. So this is the corner C dash. This is the corner D dash and this is the corner E dash. So from A dash to O dash, it is the edge which is invisible to the observer. So it is done using the dotted lines. And similarly, even E also So with this, we complete the front view of the pentagonal pyramid with its edge on which it is resting inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degrees. So just trim the projection lines, which is not required. So this is the corner D here. So now we need to draw the axis. So select the line option, select the line of thickness 0.13 and select the center line. So from O1 to O dash, draw the axis. And let us annotate this particular point to be O1 dash. So this is the front view of the pentagonal pyramid, which is inclined to the vertical plane with its axis, uh, with its uh, resting edge inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So use the leader option to draw the directions of the projection lines so with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement which states that it is a pentagonal pyramid of edge 25 mm which is resting on one of its edges measuring uh, okay 25 mm resting on one of its edges on the HP and having the axis length of 60 mm and the axis is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle of 40 degrees and then the edge on which it is resting is also inclined to the VP at an angle of 30 degrees. So this is the solution. So if at all you are asked to measure the length of the axis in the final position. So this is the length of the axis.